Good morning, YouTube. This is my Breville Barista Express model number 870XL. In some previous videos, I've mentioned where I would periodically put the drip tray into my dishwasher to clean it. In the user's manual with the machine, it's recommended not to do that. And I've had a few commenters point that out. They inform me that I will absolutely ruin my drip tray if I do that. So I've had this machine about six years now. I don't throw the drip tray in the dishwasher every single time, but if the drip tray is full and the dishwasher is full, I throw it in there. Now what I do to protect it is I put the, the drip tray on the top shelf and it's on top of the other dishes and then I have this part too. There's the drip tray. That looks pretty good. And then I was informed that I would absolutely destroy the stainless steel finish. I mean that's right out of the dishwasher. Right there I put this on the bottom shelf. I put the drip tray parts on the top shelf on top of all the other dishes so that it's well away from the heater. And you'll notice I have heated drying is off. I also don't do the hot wash or hot start, which uses the internal heating element to preheat the water. I run 140 Fahrenheit water in here when I run the dishwasher, so I have all the internal heating cycles turned off to protect the plastic. So it's about maybe one or two times a month that the drip tray is full when the dishwasher is full down below and I'll throw them in there in between if the drip tray is full and the dishwasher isn't I just empty out the drip tray rinse it out in the sink but what I found was that trying to clean in by hand try to get all of these nooks and crannies cleaned out because you get all the coffee residue and you know try to try to clean under there with a, a toothbrush or a whatever and it comes out of the dishwasher just spotless I imagine this has been through if you figure once a month for six years that's 72 cycles in the dishwasher and I don't see any signs of any damage so I'm going to continue doing that. If you want to just strictly hand clean your drip tray, feel free. I did that for a while after I bought the machine and then one time I thought, well, let's try one cycle in the dishwasher and it looked okay. So I thought, well, try another one and I don't see any signs of any problems with it. It comes out looking like new. So I just thought I would share my experience with that. Again, you are free to do as you wish. If you want to strictly hand wash your drip tray, feel free. That's what Breville recommends. In my dishwasher, the only heating element is in the bottom. It doesn't have a center or top heating element. I don't know if other dishwashers might have that. That would be the main concern is keeping the plastic parts as far from any heated source as you can and I just wanted to share my experience I haven't had any problems maybe I'm missing something if someone can point out what kind of damage I'm causing I can't see anything but maybe I'm missing something and I should stop doing this so if you can point out what's going on yeah, I don't I don't really see any any real issues you know there's there's a few hard water deposits in there that's from use a little little bit of calcium or lime deposits there and there I might toss this in a pan of vinegar one day to clean that out but It's your machine. You can do with your machine as you please. I'm going to continue doing this. So I'll put a link to the earlier video over here on the left side. And if you want to 
share any of your experiences cleaning your drip tray, go ahead and post up in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.